and amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this morning once again, Father. Be with us now, Father, as we open your word, as we reveal what is contained therein, Father, and that we should learn, that we should be moved, that we shall believe. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Give me a moment here. Technology is... Okay, technology sometimes. So some things just naturally go together. Like peanut butter and jelly. jelly. Arroz con frijoles, negros. <laughs> or like an old commercial that linked the all-American tradition of baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and, well, Chevrolet. <laughs> when we think of Disney World, we think of Mickey Mouse. Uh, when we think of Washington, we hopefully think of government, not corruption. And New Orleans, we think of the Mardi Gras. That's right. And we think of G uh, Vivian and George. Yes, that's right. That's right. Trying to imagine one without the other would be like losing part of our identity. <laughs> Discipleship and church go together as well. In fact, they're inseparably linked. Without other believers to grow with, the process of passing the Christian faith from person to person is impossible. As we live under God's direction, our faith will be affected by how we relate to people around us. And because we are family with other believers, we should seek out other disciples that we can learn with. Being a Christian involves a relationship with God, yes. But it also involves a relationship with other Christians. The goal of the church is to develop the ultimate atmosphere by which a small group can speed toward its destination, discipleship. Unfortunately, too many people, for too many people, discipleship is a program and not a lifestyle. They fill their little notebooks, making sure that every blank is filled. They have devotion, memorization of selected passages, and they meet with their accountability partner to see if they've crossed every T, dotted every I, in their program. None of these activities are bad, but they're not necessarily discipleship. While discipleship involves actions, it has more to do with attitudes than actions. Unless the attitude is right, all the activities in can become an end in themselves. Following Christ, in my opinion, can never be boiled down to filling in the blanks in a program or attending a meeting or even coming to church. It may involve those things, and it most certainly should, but it is not those things. Discipleship is not those things. Condoleezza Rice, I hope you know who she is, uh, President Bush's uh, uh, Secretary of State, right? Um, in an interview with Biography Magazine, she said her religious faith is, quote, very deeply who I am. I actually think it gives you a kind of optimism a sense that you're not the most important being on earth or in heaven. I think it leaves you feeling supported and not alone. It's not as if when you're facing some decisions, you say, all right, how would a Christian deal with this? 